This is a poem I'm working on called The Third Servile War, which is what Roman historians called the greatest slave revolt in antiquity. There's one sentence in there that says, Ordnung herrscht in Berlin. It just means, and order reigned in Berlin, which was an ironic headline in the newspaper that Rosa Luxemburg edited about repression shortly before she died. But that's just so you know what it means. So the gladiators first plan went south on account of the real oldest profession, snitches. And they had to bust out using kitchen knives and implements. But when they reach the slopes of Mount Vesuvius, Spartacus gathers slaves and shepherds from the surrounding latifundias, thousands of ex-slaves, soldiers, rebels. By next year, they are an army victorious in battle, and they march north until they can see the Alps. And they stop there. Some said that Spartacus was from a tribe of nomads from Thrace on the far side of the Alps. One imagines him looking up at the gelid passes obscured with mist a long time before turning back toward Rome. Because no one could force freedmen and led, after all, by professional killers through brutal altitudes of ice and out of Italy. Because they lack winter clothing. Because they refuse. Because strange lands scare them more than all the Roman legions they have vanquished, or they want to visit Rome and cut off the viper's head. We don't know why they turned back. Perhaps choice is an illusion. And like Orpheus, he looks back an infinitely long moment before walking to his tent. His woman was a priestess of that rebel god whose worship was forbidden by Rome to all but women, slaves, and foreigners, and his name is Dionysus. She was what auspices or portents did contents of entrails or flights of birds entail? She was a Thracian seer. Did she see the pirates' betrayal, how the shli ships slipped away? Toussaint dying, tricked into Bonaparte's cage. How the slave power's need is simple yet primordial, how it summons its ineluctable general. Marcus Licinius Crassus with its rage so that order reigns from slaughter and Ordnung herrscht in Berlin. If I knew her name, I'd say it. Crassus, whose name we know, crucified 6,000 rebels on the Appian Way from Rome to Capua to rot and reassure traveler and Roman citizen alike. Crassus received Syria to squeeze and gouge in the great Roman way. He was supremely wealthy until he marched on Parthia. The legend of Crassus' demise is that the Parthians poured molten gold down his throat. Spartacus may look homeward, but a wind blasts him forward, even facing back, just as Walter Benjamin saw in Clay's Angelus Novus, an angel of history carries him down the boot to his last battle in Lucania by Flumen Sele, now a river in Campania, not far from where the Luftwaffe strafed the beaches at Salerno. Roman historians call this the end of the Third Servile War, and the less subaltern name is lost. It could be our own. I was, I am, I will be. Swords are still found there in the earth and shields, but their bodies were never found. If I knew why they turned back toward Rome, I'd leave the reasons in a place of honor, such as wherever a story like this ends. Oh. Say one more. One minute. One, one, more. Minute. one minute. Okay. This is called Samba Reggae. It's about a dance from Brazil. Surdo is a drum. Caixa is a drum. They start off stepping in quick tracks, then rolling back their steps and dance advancing on a common wire, limbs hauled to sling and flex. Flat hip pivots torque the roll the lips of barefoot saints. And dancers shoulder hard down roads of breath that branch to heaven and conjugate red fathoms in the earth with stolen praise. Shoulders barely holding jittered legs lengthen from the waist and chime the nerves with gongs of feet, running to the torso of the sturdo in tones that round and shudder down and back the skin struck floor, reaching long to conjure and to send, curtailing and uncoiling what love knows now before the song will end. 
the Kaisha has to know how this will finish. That each step comes toward and then averts the loss of breath. We dance with breath in flux and we diminish. But it's not yet time to end our dancing day. We turn and tread along the drums ecliptic and stand at last in this our true array. Look up, look down, for the, for the dew is rising, the sweat of saints, the arms so long now and the feet immense, curtailing and coiling sparks that disappear in sun, so dance that opens wide the world can dance.